Wait, where did Belly Atrocious go? He <laughs> he was just here a second ago. Know your fucking place, trash. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be doing my review over the Legend Creations Belly Atrocious, aka the SH Figure Arts Bootleg Belly Atrocious. So, for the packaging, um, here's just turn around front, the side, which I like this picture, back of the packaging. Other side, really nothing much. Bottom of the packaging. And that's really it. So, let's get to the figure. And here's the figure out of the packaging. And as you can see, he looks way better than his promotional photos. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> It actually shocked me when I got him out of the packaging. I was really, really bamboozled on how good this actually looked. The only problems I will with the figure are, of course, loose and tight joints, which I will get into when I get in the articulation section. But other than that, it's just this figure looks awesome and really accurate to the suit. And... Yeah, well, so, let's get into detail. So, as for detail, his head sculpt looked, looks absolutely awesome, really menacing, gives off that belly atrocious vibe, which it is belly atrocious, so, so, yeah, his head sculpt looks really nice. There's no blemishes as there were in the original promotional pictures, which I'm happy with. That means I don't have to do much to the figure. Back of the head looks really nice. Poor chest looks really cool. Belly Altrocious is an awesome design. This color timer, nice color shade of purple. Side of his arm. Very, very good. His back looks his this whole design looks badass. You talking about ass? There it is. His legs. The only thing I really notice is that the shading where this where the legs are is a little different. Hold on. Let me get the packaging. Yeah, it's a little... It's a little bit extra thick. But, it's still nice. It uses belly old toes. Back. Looks really nice. So... And for articulation, um, his head can look up about that far, look down that far. He does have a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. His arms can move out that far, forward, that far down, can do a full 360. And for the joints and what I have a problem with this figure, I've actually fixed it, but this arm right here would love to just pop off, so I just took some nail polish, and since it was concealed, I didn't have to really look for a gray color, which we don't have any here. 
which I have to tighten that up, and I just put it around the uh, joint and just stuck it in there, and now it's nice and tight. So yeah. Oh, never mind. Ah, just lied. Oh, and there it is, back. Um, his his pad is on a ball joint swivel. So you can twist and move it back and forward. Um, a drink can meet in over 90 degrees. And for this arm right here, the this joint is really loose. But this thing is making me look like a liar now. But when it's holding something like his... Oh, yeah. It can't really hold any other thing unless I adjust it. But other than that, it's really good. Same with the elbow. And his wrists are on ball joints, so you can tilt, spin these freely. And for his ab crunch slash waist joint, they both can twist side to side. But there is little to no... Little to no ab crunch and waist joint, but they can move the side to side really fucking well. The only reason is because the ball joints are so shitty that they don't have any movement in them to make it go forward and back, which I haven't seen the original figure in any reviews as of yet, so yeah. Um, legs can move out that much. He has a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees that bend beautifully, ankles move down, they move up, has a toe articulation, I can move flat level up, and he has a very, very good ankle pivot. And for his accessories, he comes with his Giga Battleizer, an extension for his Giga Battleizer, two open hands, which are really small, as you can see, you can pour it right through. And problem with my figure out of the packaging, um, his hands were just with excess. There were excess plastic in the holes. Which I got rid of easily using an exacto knife. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, he also I'll get to these last. Um, he has some regular handed pointy fingers, which they look pointy. Well, pointing fingers. But yeah, look really nice. Oh. Look really nice. Good detail. Decent paint job. He also has some relaxed hands, which look the same. And for these hands, these are his extended finger, well, extended pointing hands. And the reason why the paint job may look really bad is that because they came out of the package completely black. Or the gray color, as you can see right here. And I had to paint over them with a mixture of gray and white paint, which may turn out good, as I say it's over myself, and that's it for accessories, on to size comparisons. This is an edit from Future Me, and from what the box looks like, I fucked up because these were not supposed to be painted, but I honestly don't give a shit right now because... They look better than what they were on the back of the package, but, yeah. And here he is with some size comparisons with another bootleg figure in my collection. His arc rival, Ultraman Zero, in his beyond form. And th with every other SH Figure Arts figure in your collection, he's going to sit well. Really nice figure. And here he is with my custom SH Figure Arts Kaiser Belial. Sits really nice together and I like how they look together. 
And of course, I prefer Arc Belly, not Arc Belly, fucking Kaiser Belly over Belly Atrocious, my preference. So, yeah. And here he is with an SH Monsters figure with the SH Monsters Godzilla 2001. They look really good together. And here he is with a Shogoku figure in the 2004 Final Wars Guy game. They scale actually nicely together, and I like how they look. And close to last, here is here he is with the SH figure, not figure arts, got that on the brain, SH Monster Arts Predator Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Predator. Heavy arms version. They they don't look good together. If he was SH figure art size, they would they would look really good together. But other than that, eh. and lastly, we can't forget here he is with the Train Masters Godzilla 1998. To conclude the review, SH figure arts Ultraman Belly Atrocious, well the bootleg, aka Legend Creations Ultraman Belly Atrocious is a really, really good figure that exceeded my expectations, and I highly recommend it to anyone who is a fan of Ultraman Belly Atrocious. If you can find it, I haven't been able to find the figure myself again, just to put the link in the description, because I guess it was taken down due to the uh, coronavirus, but um, if it pops up ever again on uh, AliExpress, which is where I got it from, um, should pick it up. Same thing with Ultraman Zero Beyond. They look great together, and they're definitely worth the $20 you'll spend on it. And make sure not to look at the uh, promotional picks because that is absolutely shit, and it should not... I was hesitant before buying it, and now I'm not. Well, And now I'm not regretting buying the figure, but don't regret buying the figure if it looks like the... Well, if it looks like the promotional photos, then I feel bad for you. But, yeah, if you like this video, comment, drop a like, and, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.